Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today um, I'll be teaching you guys how to do the dodge and burn um, retouching because um, you know, there are different styles of retouching. We have the um, frequency separation retouching, we have the dodge and burn which I'm just gonna like teach um, you guys how to like do this type of retouching or this retouching style. So um, okay yeah this this retouching it's basically i kind of like enjoy doing this retouch um style for the dodge and burn for like um close-up images so um because it tends to like um keep more details on the images than using frequency separation so um it is actually an easy type of like um retouching but it tends to like take time if you're just getting familiar with it so it takes um a couple of time to like um do and um you need to know what you're doing so because if you if you just feel like uh um let me just try this thing out i bet when you start in like 10 minutes you feel like you're not doing anything but um in the actual sense it's you're actually doing something if you do it correctly so um yeah um let's just jump right into it here yeah. so um okay guys the the way i do my dodge and burn retouching is Firstly, I start with um, removing the vi um, visible blemishes, which is like um, the um, spots and you know pimple and acne um, on the subject's skin. So the way I do that is I create a duplicate, pressing Ctrl J on my keyboard, or I could always just drag this layer to. I could always drag this um, background layer um, right here, and it duplicates it. So um, after I've duplicated my layer, I tend to like. Um, go to the healing brush just the normal healing brush to not the not the spot um the normal spot healing brush sorry spot healing brush so i use the spot healing brush to i zoom in then i take off the blemishes okay So yeah, still using the um, alien brush to just to take off the visible blemishes. This black, this black spots here, yeah, I could always use it, but um, I don't like using it. I could always use the dodge and bone tool to like fix that. And this black spots here, yeah, I think that's from my lens. I think my lens needs cleaning. That's why I have this like black spot here, cause yeah, the model skin looks amazing so i think it's gonna make my work um faster because she has less blemish on her face so okay guys um i want to spend much time on this so you guys you, you guys don't have to spend hours watching this video um so after doing this and i feel satisfied with um the healing brush uh yeah you can see the before and after with just the healing brush here so um if i feel satisfied with my healing brush then i'll move on to my dodge and burn i actually already have um i already have a action here for the dodge and burn which i'm going to put on um, a link down below for this video so this is dodge and burn retouch as soon as i just um click this it's going to give me my dodge and burn but um just for the um, essence of this video here i'm going to create a new one so you guys could actually see the way i do it um so the way i start is i take a, i go down here i click on the curves i create um i increase the um brightness of the curves that's from the meter on here i increase it this much then after doing this i come down to the blank layer here I invert it control high so it's inverted then you can always rename it to dodge then i do the same thing to to another layer i pick another curve layer then this time i'm going to go down here so this is gonna be my burn i'm gonna invert it control high again then i'll change this to my burn yeah so that's basically what the action is but i'm going to give you guys the link so it's just save you the stress of like going through um doing this every time you need to like retouch so i'm going to pick the brush to this time just my normal brush and um guys um you need to like pick up cognizance to this here because um 
um it's cool it's cool when you do dodge and bone and you like build up you don't just want to paint just one stroke and have have what you want you need to like build up so everything will look um perfect so i use a flow of one my opacity 100 then i come to my brush setting um, my transfer is checked um, on print on pen pressure on on pen pressure and smoothing yes i checked out too so um, although i'm using a webcom tablet so um this makes my work easier then um basically these are just my settings then i start and for you to start painting here um you need to make sure this is your brush is like white this is white here so um okay now going into this picture right now most people tend to do their dodge and burn they go like almost 100 percent in because you want to like um do your dodge and burn i would advise you not to because you might not get the full feel of the you might you might overdo the picture and to start looking um fake or it won't look as good as you want it to look like so i would what i would advise you to do is zoom in but don't zoom in that much if this is the normal size of the picture i would zoom in this way or maybe even step back a little bit then start painting so now this is where the issue f lies like um <clears throat> most people don't know um where to paint so basically yeah um guys the way you're going to paint on this image or to like dodge this image or burn these images you need to like have uh, more like an inner high that you know okay yes definitely the way you're lighting your pictures um, you know this piece is always like highlighted um i wish i can like draw this so you guys can see it clearly okay like you know this part of um the subject head has more highlight this part here has highlight the your subject nose is like highlighted <laughs> you guys just a uh, pity or ignore my lines so this part here has highlight here highlighted then maybe here there's a sh there's a um okay here highlighted you get then here there's always an highlight here but right here now this time <clears throat> you have um sorry one minute okay so i'm trying to show you know this part is always like darkened your makeup artist tends to like do this this part is like darkened this part is darkened too you get so you need to like have this kind of like shape in your mind that you know oh this is this is how most um um subject or most people's face or the way the light hits your subject is going to look like so because majorly i'm just actually um the way i paint is i'm painting i'm painting highlight and shadow on my subject where i know highlight is meant to be and there's a shadow area there that is where i paint my highlight on so um for you guys to get the best knowledge of this i'm going to like paint right now let me just use my action right now okay so dodge i'm going to and i can tell you guys that when you're doing dodge and bone um retouching you'll be using more of the dodge layer <laughs> yes that i've i've tried some couple of images and i can tell you for sure that yes you'll be using more of the dodge layer so um oops okay now i need to take this back to one percent yes uh, and let's start i'm painting white yeah in my dodge layer since you know we already inverted it here so i can see there's a black patch here that's why i'm actually painting white painting so this is what you're gonna do you're gonna like areas where there are black spots where they should actually be white or true that's what you're trying to fix so you keep doing this until you're satisfied or it looks good so yeah your hands are basically going to be on the um brackets keys because you have to increase and reduce your brush size <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna hurry up with this picture, but 
this is okay so i'm going to speed up a little bit of this video so you guys won't get bored watching me do this because it could take almost forever And yeah guys, yeah sometimes you paint that you have like discoloration in your picture, more like one side will look maybe too reddish or you get you just do what you have to do. Leave it alone that way. And w the way you're gonna solve that is you're going to like um match your skin tone. That is where you're gonna solve that problem. I figured that out too. Because you might have some place looking like more reddish than other parts. So this is when you're trying to like fix your color. That's your color, trying to do the color balance. That's where you fix it. Okay, so right now I'm going to like zoom out. Okay, just showing you guys what we've done. This is before. Uh, I need to show this, it's not that visible. This is before and after this is before and after before after so guys can you see that it's just you know little little subtle changes that's what we need right now so can you see this yeah so now i'm i'm zoomed out right now i'm going to do more like a global dojan bond same setting so now my brush gets a little bit bigger so I can fix it much more better. So this is the global. All I'm doing is I can see the patches. I'm trying to like fix all patch this time. Trying to fix them. That's what I'm trying to do. Show you what we've been doing with the global one also. Can you see that guys? Yeah, we're trying to fix it globally. Yeah. Before, after, before, and after. Yeah. I would have loved to do more, but <laughs> I didn't want to spend hours doing this video, so this is what we've done with this so um we could always so doing this right now i could now decide to like okay because i could see like so many discoloration in the picture then i could go this way if you have the retouch academy click on my retouch academy click on my magical skin tone yeah so it gives me the skin color and i change my brush size my brush flow to 100 i paint just a little stroke i can see it's like not same it's not looking like same tone with the model skin so i'm going to pick my mid-tone be somewhere around here yeah mid-tone then my shadow area i'm gonna pick the shadow maybe somewhere around here and i just just find the spots that looks here yeah. yeah so there after i've done that then i can now paint and make the skin look balanced Okay, so we could do this just just make this look better. I'm just um because I'm in a hurry to just get this video done. That's why I'm doing it this roughly. So if she, if she has makeup on and do do not paint this side, uh, you get so you won't change the color of the makeup artist's um, makeup. All right, so I could call this 
more like I'm done here. So here original and now before after so that's it guys just basically painting highlight to the dark area and painting shadow to the light area in a dark part so that's it um i hope you guys enjoyed this um, video or you learned something so kindly like comment and subscribe to my channel to see much more videos um and um you can press to look at um, the notification icon also just to like um, get notified anytime i post a new video thank you very much and cheers